So this is the exact exclusive free theme and store design that I use for Shopify that helps me create my six figure and seven figure drop shipping stores. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Kamel Satin and is the Ecom King. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys and showing you my brand new free exclusive theme that I've been using for the last few months to use for my drop shipping stores to get them to six figures and seven figures. Now, the reason why I created my own free theme and I'm sharing it with you guys is to make your life so easy easy and so fast to create stores and test drop shipping products because with traditional themes you have to then download them edit them get them the way you want them to look and it can take a lot of time and a lot of faffing about so i thought if i create my own theme partnering with ecom graduates which is a developer to actually create a theme in my style and format all i need to do is upload the theme fill out a few little sections and the theme is ready to go and I can start testing products. That way we're saving time and that way we're going to be more effective with testing our drop shipping products. And that's why I'm making this video today to share my free exclusive theme with all of you guys that you can only get watching this video and also to teach you how I edit the theme to get it to a six figure and seven figure drop shipping store format that converts really well. So if you guys appreciate all this value because it's completely free, the theme and this video, then we'd appreciate it if you could smash the like button button it would really show your appreciation because you don't have to pay any money for this theme yet it's cost us a lot of time and a lot of money to develop this theme for you guys for completely free so if you're looking for a video tutorial on how to build a shopify drop shipping store using a free theme and the best theme then you're definitely in the right place so let's get straight into it so guys the first thing that we need to do is we need to claim the free exclusive theme now like i said in the intro this is going to be a full step-by-step -step video so i'm going to be teaching you how to get the theme how to edit the theme how to build out your product pages and etc. So the first thing that we need to do is come to this website right here and it will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment. Do not use any other links. If there's anyone replying to you in the comment section, it's probably a fake account. Only use the links in the pinned comment and in the description. So you're going to find this link right here and it's going to be called ecomgraduates.com forward slash ENG dash GB pages forward slash ecomify light forward slash ecom king. This is how the domain name should look. And again, only use the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, when you come to this page, it should look like this. It should say introducing ecomify light x the ecom king as this is a partnership massive shout out to them they're the guys that helped me develop this theme for you guys now as soon as you scroll down you're going to see here it says download ecomify light which is the theme that i'm giving you all you need to do is enter your first name last name and email address and then you'll receive an email with the theme now once you enter your details it should say download ecomify light thank you your name please sign up to your free trial once you complete it come back and download your theme so click sign up it will then take you to the Shopify page that looks like this, where you're going to get three months for $1. Now, all you need to do is add your email address here and click start free trial. Then all you need to do is fill out the details through Shopify. I'm going to click skip all, and then I'm going to click United Kingdom. And then it should bring me to the name where I'm going to choose my account. I'm going to choose this account. Then once you've created a Shopify account, the first thing that you need to do to make sure the theme gets activated is go to where it says extend your free trial for $1 a month for three months and click select plan. And then you need to choose a plan. So you need to choose the basic plan right here. Now, remember, you're going to get this for three months for $1. So you're only paying $1 instead of $20. Click choose basic. Then I'm going to choose the monthly cycle. That way I'm going to get the offer and then I'm going to click confirm billing cycle then you need to add a payment method so i'm going to be using my credit card so once you've done that guys if you come back to this website here where you're going to sign up for the theme you can see it's going to say it's going to take up to 15 minutes for it to give you the theme that way we're just validating to make sure that you've done it correctly through shopify once it verifies everything that you've done then this will appear with the theme that we're providing you now to make this very very clear you will not be able to claim the theme unless you've created a brand new shopify account through that link and you've got to make sure that you add a payment method and you've chosen a shopify plan as long as you've done those three things you should be able to access this theme through this website and you can see here almost there just a few more minutes the download will be ready soon so you can see it's just validating everything that we've imported into shopify now whilst we're waiting for the theme to download i need to go over something very important with you guys make sure that you only use this website to get the theme don't use any other third parties if they try and give it to you or anywhere else because it could 
could have bugs in there and you will not get eligibility for new software updates on the theme, new upgrades on the theme. And if you do it through this website, then you will get exclusive content through my Teachable. So the Ecom King actually has a Teachable account, which is completely free, but you'll only get access to it after three months of you being subscribed to this completely free theme. Then you'll get an email with the exclusive Teachable content that you can't get anywhere else. So make sure you only use this website, my link, because if you don't, you won't get future upgrades. You won't get any support. You won't get anything. So make sure you only use this website. So guys, after roughly around about six to eight minutes, you can now see the page is updated and it says, thank you, Mohammed. You've successfully signed up for the free trial and your theme is now ready to download. And you can see all you need to do is click the download button. Then once you've downloaded it, if you come to your computer downloads, you should see the zip file and then you need to unzip it by double clicking it. And then you should have the folder here. And then once you've got that, you want to go back to your Shopify account here. And then once you come back to your Shopify account that you just created a free trial for and you signed up for the basic plan, you want to go to where it says online store. You want to go to where it says themes. And then once this loads, you're going to go to here where it says theme library, click add theme, click upload zip file, click add file, and then you want to upload that file right here. So guys, once you've uploaded the theme to your theme library, if you come to Shopify, it should say here, Ecom King Ecomify theme light just added. You want to hit the publish button, click publish, and then it should move it to the actual main theme now. So you should see it here. And then what you want to do is you want to hit the customize button. So guys, once you've clicked the customize theme button, your screen should now look like mine. You're inside of the Shopify editor. And if you come to the top left, it should say Ecom King Ecomify theme light. And this is the theme that I'm giving you guys, which is free and exclusive just to you guys and you guys can see here it's designed in a way where it's very quick and easy and beautiful to edit that way you can test your drop shipping products very fast it comes with animations lots of customizations it's really epic what we've done here for you guys to make your life easy and again if you appreciate this guys make sure you smash that like button if we can get 10,000 likes on this video in 30 days that would be epic especially for the amount of time and money we've had to invest to create this theme for you so guys let's get straight into editing the theme so let's say hypothetically you've got your product. Now, my product of choice as the example in this video is going to be these T plushes. So these are the products that I'm going to be adding to my store. And again, this is the hypothetical example. Now, what you can do with this Shopify theme is make it a one product store, a niche store, or a general store. Now, the way we've made it for you right now is a one product store, but it is very easily edited to turn into a niche store or a general store. It's completely down to you guys. But for now, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to do a niche one product store. So the first thing that we need to do, guys, is change the theme colors. So if you go here to where it says theme settings, go to where it says styling and you can see here colors. Now these ones here in this like brownish color is your accent colors. So these are the only two that you need to change guys. The way that we've customized this theme is to make it very easy for you. So the only two colors you need to change guys is primary and secondary. And these two colors should be the secondary color of your brand. So let's say for example, my product is this product. I'm going to be choosing this like brownie color on the product as my secondary color. So I've used that color and I've changed it to my primary and secondary. Once you've done that, guys, then that's all done. Now, if you scroll down, guys, you can change the actual font used on the website, but I'm going to leave it as it is because it has been set up in a way where you don't need to make any adjustments to the fonts unless you really want to. Now, the first thing that we need to edit, guys, is the announcement bar. So if you click the announcement bar, you can see here, this is what we're going to have on it. And you can see under the settings on the right hand section here, it says announcement bar, general show announcement bar, show only on homepage. So you can make these adjustments. Now, again, these have already been done for you based on what I do. If you want to change them, then you can, but I have all of these ticked. So everything that is shown right now is the exact way I have mine. Now, the only thing that I change is if we come back to the left hand section, you can see here under announcement bar, you have the editing section to change the actual text written in the announcement bar. So for now, I've put free shipping for all orders over $100. Now you can change it to saying free shipping for all orders plus 20% off. So for example, I'm going to change this. So you guys can see I've just changed this now to saying free shipping for all orders and 20% off. You guys choose what you want to do, but you should always be offering free shipping and you should offer some form of discount. But I've just done this for now, guys. So I'm going to save it. Now you can also link the announcement bar to a page. You don't have to link it. If you don't want it linked, 
page, you can just click the X mark and then click save. And then that way the announcement bar doesn't have any links. So if you click it, it doesn't do anything. Now, the next thing that we need to change is the home page strip, which is this section here. So if you come to where it says template carousel, you want to come underneath it and you're going to see here, it's got the text that says relax with plushie. So you're going to click this and then you're going to be able to choose the image. And you're also going to be able to change the text written inside of this. Now for this section here, guys, you want to be uploading an image of your niche or of your product, but more multiple variants of the product or just a simple background. Now you can either use this website here called Pexels or Pixels. And for example, my product is a plush. So I might want to type in here, plush and see what comes up. Now you can see there's some photos coming up, but it doesn't really show the kind of products that I'm looking for. So I might not want to use this, or we can go back to Shopify, click explore free images and use the ones that they've got on here. Or I can go to my supplier's website and product page and look to see if they've got any images that match this. Now, the image that you want to use for this is more cinematic and has like a blurred background and then has an image of the product. But you want it to be a very simple but very understated image. It doesn't need to be anything over the top. So guys, as you guys can see, this is the image that I've chose and I found this one on Google by typing in my product name. Now, as I've just said, it's a very simple image of the product showing multiple variants in a very nice format with a blurred background. That way the main focus is on the product, but it's also clear enough to have text written on the front that you can easily read. Now, if the text isn't easy to read on the front, which we'll come on to later, you can change the opacity. So if I change it to like eight, it's gonna make it darker in the back. So now you can see that the background has gone even darker. Now, if I increase it even more, then the background is going to go even darker. But make sure you guys read because the top version is the mobile version. And if you scroll down, then you've got the desktop version. That's the thing that I love about this theme so much that it gives you the option to edit the mobile version and the desktop version as they're going to be completely different. So if we scroll down the desktop version, if we drop this down to let's say 0.4, you can see it's gone really dark. If I drop it down to 0.1, it's going to go really dark. Now the sweet spot I think is about 0.4 to 0.4. Six. So you can see these are the options. Now I'm going to stick with around about 0.4. I think that's the perfect color. It's easy to read the text as well. And you can also increase a blur and increase the image height. Now I'm going to leave this one as it is because it's perfect. And as I said before, if you scroll up, you can change the mobile version. So if we change this to the mobile version, you can see if I drop the opacity down to 0.4, you're going to see on the mobile version, it changes it. And again, I think 0.5 is perfect for the mobile. So now I've done that, I'm going to hit save. Now, if we scroll down past the image section, you're going to see here where it says caption animation. Now that is this bit here where it says relax with the plushie. So you can actually change the way the animation works. Now, a lot of the text on here is animated. So for example, this section is animated. This section is animated. This section is animated. This section is animated. So you can change the way the animations work and you can see all of these are the options options, which I love. And then you can change the speed of the animation as well. And that's basically how all of those work. Now you can try these out. I wouldn't go too over the top guys, because then it can look a bit tacky. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see where it says title. Now where it says title, you want to write a short, sweet caption about the product or about the store. So I put relax with plushy quality. Now that's basically the product name and what the product is. Now, whatever your product is, you might want to word this differently, but make sure you write it and have it as around about six to five words. You don't want it longer than that. And you can see I put the TM mark at the end to give it that branded look as well to make it look more professional. Now, if you scroll down, you can change the title size. Now I've left mine on H1 and you can also change the subtitle size. If you want a subtitle, I don't currently have a subtitle. I think this is more than enough, more simple, the better it is in my opinion. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see where it says primary text button. Now, this is this button here. Now, I've put discover the product name, plushy quality. Now, you can do the same. Discover whatever your product name is or shop now. It's up to you. This is a little bit less salesy and it's a little bit more informative. That way, they're going to want to click on it. And then where it says button URL, this is where you're going to change where the button directs them to. Button color, you can change all the colors of the button. You can change the button size. If you want it large, you can make it large. And you can see now that's what it looks like large. Now, I think the larger button looks nice. So I'm going to keep it. And if you scroll up, you want to hit save. Now, the next section that we need to edit is the image with text. So if you come to the left hand side, you can see image with text. If you just click it, then it'll give you the settings on the right hand side. You can change the color. So if I want it light, then I can have it light. If I want it primary, I can have it primary. But for now, I'm going to leave it white because I think it looks better in white. Now, if you scroll down, you can actually change the way the text is aligned, which side it's in, the actual animation as well. So you can make a lot of customizations. Me personally, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. The only things 
that I need to adjust here, in my opinion, is the image and the text. So I'm gonna click image. And then what I wanna do is I wanna upload an image that showcases my product and some of the features. Now, the best place to get really good images should be your supplier on AliExpress. If not, you wanna look throughout all the suppliers like CJ Dropship and Zendrop and see what images they have. Now, I use a Chrome extension called AliSave. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not paid by them to say any of this. I just use it because I find it very helpful. Now, what I do when I get this Chrome extension is you can see here, it shows me the options that I can do. Now, I'm going to download all of these images. So I'm going to click all. And then what it will do is it'll download all the images in a zip file for me. Then that way it makes my life very easy to use all the images on this website. You can see here in the bottom left, you can see it's downloaded it in a zip file for me. So when I open it and I click open, you're going to see that it's downloaded it in description images, it's downloaded it in the main images, and that way it's really easy for me to use. Now, if I go back to Shopify, I'm going to click add image. I'm going to go to that file. I'm going to go to description images, and I'm going to pick the one that I think looks the best. Now, I really like this image here because it's got a little bit of a slant to it, and it's got a little bit of a 3D effect to it, and it showcases different options of the product in a nice, colorful background. So I'm going to use this image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to go to where it says text, and you can see title text. Now, the title text for this should be about what the product is. So whatever the product shows, you want to talk about it in the title. So I've said here, bubble tea hugging pillow. I'm talking about what the product is. And then if I scroll down in the description, I'm going to add a short bit of text explaining what the product does. You could hug it when you're sleeping, watching TV, reading books. Also, it can be used in different occasions, such as the bedroom, living room, bedroom, office, car, and etc. So I'm basically emphasizing on what the title is talking about. I'm talking about what the product does and how it can be used. Now, if you're not too sure about what the product is and what it can do, you can either go on your AliExpress suppliers website and scroll down to their description or better off you can go to Amazon and when you go to Amazon all of these sellers will have a very good informative description now I'm not saying you should copy them because I don't think that's right but what I'm saying is you can use it so for example about this item you can see they're talking about the different features and then they're giving you a little bit of a breakdown on how it works you could use chat GBT if you wanted to to give it a little bit more of an emphasis on some of these points or you could just generate your own version yourself I like I said I wouldn't say copy it but use it as an initiative on how to do yours. And then once you've done that, guys, you want to scroll down to where it says button, add the button text to shop now, button URL should be either the actual product page itself or the niche or the collection page. Now we've not added the product to our website yet. We're going to do that later so we can come back to this. Now, if you scroll back up, you can actually change the size. You can see here it says image with size. You can change it to one third or one and a half. I like mine on one third as I feel like it fits it perfectly. Now, if you're going to add lots of text, then you might want it on one and a half. Now, if you scroll down to the next image with text, you're going to do the exact same thing again, but you're talking about a different feature. So here we're talking about what the product is. Here we might want to emphasize on one of the features. So you can see here I've uploaded an image of the product, but it's a single image of the product in a very high quality image. And you can see the background and the scenery matches. So you can see this matches this scenery, this matches this scenery. That way it's being congruent. And when people come to the website, they're going to know that all the images look from the same place. That way it doesn't give them any suspicions. Now here I'm talking about what the product is in more detail. So you can see on the left-hand side, I've put realistic cartoon plush, different colors, different expressions, crying expression, smiling expression. You can choose different plushies to express your different moods. Then this time where the button is, I've actually changed it to say discover plushy quality. That way I'm not being a salesy. I'm actually telling them to actually discover it on the product page where that's where all the information is going to be. So once you've done that, guys, make sure you hit the save button. Now, once you scroll down, you're going to come to where it says single product. So you can see this is where we're going to be adding our product that we're advertising. Now, if you don't want it to be a single product and you want it to be a collection, you can do that guys very easily by clicking change. You can change the product or you can remove this section by scrolling up and clicking remove and then hit add section. And then you can add a collection. So if you scroll down, you can see single product or you can see collection. So it's up to you. So you can see here fe featured collection or featured products. So if you want to change this to a niche store or a general store, you need to change this from single product to either single feature or featured collections or featured products. Now, if you're going to be doing a niche store, I'd recommend featured products. If you're going to be doing a general store, I'd recommend featured collections. But as I said to you guys in the intro, I will be doing a one product store. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, before we can actually fill this section out, we need to import the product 
to our Shopify store. So I'm going to go back to the Shopify settings, go to apps, and then I'm going to go to where it says apps and sales channel settings. And then I'm going to go to where it says Shopify app store. And I'm going to be downloading the app that I use to import my products, which is auto DS. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to type in auto DS. And I'm going to be using this app right here as this is the one that I use. Now, the reason why I use Auto DS is because it is by far the best app when it comes to automating your dropshipping business on the back end. And it's the easiest one when it comes to making adjustments to your products. Now, it is a paid app after 30 days if you use my link. Now, if you want a free complete version, then use something like DS's, which is on the app store as well. But I would recommend that you try Auto DS out. Make sure you use my link. That way you'll get 30 days instead of 40. 14 days and you might as well try it out and if you don't like it you can easily change over to DS's for completely free after the 30 days but the reason why I'm asking you guys to try this out is because it's honestly game changing when you use it it simplifies everything so easy that way you don't have to waste so much time on the back end and you can focus on generating sales now once you've got auto DS you want to go over to where it says add products in the top left and you can either choose single product or multiple products so if you're going to be adding loads of products choose this option if you're going to be doing a one product store choose this section here, which is a single product. Then you want to enter the AliExpress suppliers link. So you're going to go back to the AliExpress supplier, copy their link, go back to auto DS, paste it and click where it says publish now or edit now if you want to make some adjustments. Now, whilst I'm on this topic, AutoDS doesn't just work with AliExpress. They work with CJ Dropshipping and all of these different vendors that are on the screen here that you can see. Now, if you've made any adjustments, then you can just click save and import. If you haven't, just click the import button. Now, whilst we're waiting for this product to be imported into our Shopify store, we need to go create a logo and pick a brand name. Now, before you even think about choosing a brand name, make sure the domain name is available because you don't want to pick a brand name, get the domain name and it's not available. So make sure you go to a company called Hostinger because Hostinger offer using my link a free domain name. So instead of paying $14.99, you can use Hostinger using my link. And then that way, when you create an account, you can claim your free domain name and then transfer it back over to Shopify. And to transfer it over to Shopify, all you need to do is go to settings, go to settings, go to where it says domains here on the left, and then go to where it says connect existing domain. And then you can enter the domain name that you use from Hostinger. So I need to quickly pick a domain name and the domain name is obviously going to be my brand name. So I'm going to change the end extension to .com as .com is the best for e-commerce. And now I need to think of the name of the store and the brand. Now, the easiest way to do it, guys, is think about what your product is or what your niche is and literally name it after that. That is the most easiest and the best way to do it. So my product is literally called Plushy Quali. So the first thing that I'm going to do is see if this name here is available. So you can see here, I've typed in the name, literally copied and pasted it from AliExpress. I'm just going to quickly make sure there's no spaces and see if it's available. So I'm going to click check availability. And as you guys can see there, the domain name is available and this is literally the name of my product. So this is a perfect choice for me. Now, if you're not doing a one product store, this won't be as easy to name. So you might have to choose the niche name. If you're still struggling, then you can use a name generator that I'll leave linked in the description, which is completely free. So all or you can go to Shopify and type in Shopify domain name chooser or Shopify brand name chooser. And you can type in a few words and it can give you some suggestions, but don't overcomplicate this section, guys. Literally pick a brand name based on what makes sense and what seems pleasing to the eye for other people. So once you claim your domain name using hosting and make sure you come back here, enter the domain that you just chose and then connect it like this. And by doing that, guys, you've just saved yourself $14.99. Now, once you've got your brand name, you need to create create a logo. So go to canva.com, create a pro account. They've got a free trial so you can get 30 days for free whilst you're doing this. That way you don't have to pay, but it's always good to have a Canva pro account. I use it all the time for loads of different things that I'll be showing you throughout this video. So what you want to do is go to Canva, type in logo, and it will give you all of these templates that you can use to create your logo. You can also filter it down by business or the filters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll through this till I find a logo that I like the look of. Now, I really like the look of this logo here because it's very simple and it looks very professional. Now you want to pick your logo based on what suits and what fits your niche here, where it says motherhood looks quite nice as well. This one looks nice. Don't go for any crazy looking logos. Keep it simple and clean and what fits your brand the best. Now I really like this logo here because of the font and the way it's laid out. So I'm going to choose this one here. So the first thing that I need to do guys is change the background color to white because my Shopify header color is white. And if we go to Shopify, you can see here it is white and I'd recommend you keep it white. So I'm going to leave that as white. If I go back to here on Canva, then the last thing that I'm going to do is change the font to actually say my brand name. So this is going to say plushy. 
and then this is going to say koala.com. So as you guys can see, guys, it took me literally two and a half minutes to do this. I just changed the text and I changed it to say .com and I'm very happy with this. Now you've got two options in terms of saving this. I like to screenshot this and make it the actual size as close as possible. So for example, click print screen and then I like to keep this as close as possible like this. That way when I upload the actual logo, it's going to look nice and professional. Now the other option that you got is by hitting share and then you can download it as a PNG and you can use this dimension. The only downside of doing it this way is it can sometimes make the logo look small. So you might have to play around with the pixel size. So if we go back to our Shopify store and go to where it says nav bar, we want to scroll all the way down to where it says logo mobile and logo desktop. And we want to select our logo. As you guys can see, I've just uploaded my logo and it looks really nice and professional. Don't forget to upload your mobile logo as well. It's very important and make sure you change it to the mobile version to see what it looks like on the mobile version, because you can change the actual height and size of the logo but i think this one looks perfect and this is starting to look really nice and professional this shopify store and again this team has made this so easy and fast i've literally just been editing this now for about 10 20 minutes now once you've done this guys go back to auto ds go to where it says products and make sure your product has been imported and it has been imported so if we go back to shopify go to products and you can see the product has now been listed here. So if we go back to the Shopify editor, scroll all the way down to where it's a single product or your collection, however you've changed it, and now your product should show up. So what we need to do, guys, is make the adjustments for this in the product editor and not in the Shopify editor. So if we go back to the Shopify product editor, click this, and we're going to make the adjustments in here. So the first thing that we need to do, guys, is change the title of the product. Now, I like to keep this very simple and professional. So I'm literally going to call my product the plushy quality and then TM to mean trademark. Now, to get the TM logo, all you need to do is go to Google and type in TM. Go to this website here and you can grab it here. So if you come here, copy this, go back to the Shopify editor and paste it here. Now, the whole point of the title is to make your product sound amazing or to really big it up and to basically turn a normal sounding product and make it sound crazy, but don't type in too many words. It should be short and sweet. The max that I'll go up to is eight words, guys. Don't go over eight words. Once you've done that, guys, make sure you hit save. Now, once you've done that, guys, we need to change the description. Now, I'd recommend that you do this in Auto DS because sometimes it can glitch out. So make sure you come to Auto DS, go to products, and then edit the product by clicking edit. So we want to edit the description. So we're going to go to where it says description, and we're going to click edit description. And now we're going to edit the description. And I actually like editing the products in Auto DS because I think it's a lot better than the Shopify editor. I think you've got lots more customizations, and it's a lot easier to do it in here. Now, we want to delete all the crap from AliExpress or wherever your supplier's got it from and leave it blank. Now, when we get it blank, what we want to do is we want to add a short paragraph in here. Now, in terms of finding out a short description for your product, you can look at your competitors by going to Google and typing in the product name plus myshopify.com. And this will pull up all of the other stores selling this product. And you can look at what their description is and get some inspiration. So I've come to this website. I can take a look at their description and get some inspiration. Theirs is really bad. So I'm not going to look at this one. I can come to this one and look at their description and see what I think. Now, for me, guys, I'm going to be using Peekster to get my description done because Peekster is the company that I actually use to find the product and they also give you a description that you can use and adjust. So I'm going to actually use some of this and adjust it. And even better, Peekster has actually got an AI generator that can help you make descriptions by entering a few words. So if you come here, go to where it says templates and you can see the goal is product description. You add a few words here, a few of the benefits and it will write you a product description. Now by doing that, guys, I've just created my product description. So I've got it here and I've just pasted it and I'm going to click save. Now, the reason why we're adding a very short but sweet description is because all of the information is going to be on the product page, but it's not going to be in the description section. It's going to be slightly underneath. That way we're not boring people with a long description and we're going to be showing them videos and images that are going to be a little bit more pleasing than text. Now, once you've made the adjustments here in the auto DS section, go back to the Shopify product editor, scroll down and you want to make the adjustments to the images here. Now you can see these images here have got support wholesale and they've got image. You can see these images here have got support wholesale and they've got some words on some of the images that don't make any sense and it's not good for a customer to see. So I'm obviously going to be deleting the images that are not necessary like these ones. And I'm going to be adding images like these ones here that show the product in a very high quality photography background. So you can see this one, this one, and this one, and this one has really nice photography done to it. These two 
who are a little bit less professional. So I'm going to delete these ones. Now, the truth is, guys, you want to run about three to 10 images in the media section. So you want to add more if you haven't got more. Now, my best recommendation is make the main image here, which is the biggest one, which is the one that will show an image of the product with a few image diagrams showing what the product is with a little bit of writing, either with your brand logo on it or with some text giving it. So you can see here, it says high quality with good detail. That way I'm giving the, that way I'm giving the viewer even more information on the main image. You don't want to be doing it on every image. You could upload your logo to each one of these images. That way it looks more branded. It's completely down to you, but you want to make sure the main image has some form of writing on it or your logo on it. Then you want to scroll down and go to the variants and make sure the variants are correct and the options are correct. And then you can scroll down and edit these. So you can either change the pricing or you can change the compare pricing, but make sure you make the adjustments necessary. You always want to make sure that you're making either 3.5x on the product or you want to be making a minimum of $20. So make sure you adjust this correctly. Now, if your currency is not in US dollar, then you need to put it in US dollar. Mine's in British pounds as I'm in the UK. All you need to do to change this is go to the Shopify settings. You can either duplicate the tab or do it in the existing one. I'd recommend that you duplicate it. Go to the settings section, in the bottom left, go to store details, Go to store details, scroll down to where it says store currency and change it to US dollars and click save. And the reason why we're putting it in US dollars is because that is the global reserve currency. And it's the one that most people are familiar with and people like to shop with. We can obviously add a currency convert into the store, no problem. Then once you've done that, guys, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says search engine listing, click edit. And you want to make sure that you change the meta description and you don't want it this long. You want it short and sweet. And then you want to change the UR handle to look nice and branded. The one's going to be default from AliExpress, which doesn't look good. So make sure you change this to just say the product name. So whatever it says in the title, you want to add it in the URL handle at the bottom. That way you're not going to have this horrible long description in the UR handle, which is going to put people off. So as you guys can see, this is my new URL handle and it looks a lot better. Now, once you've done that, guys, that's the product page done. Now, obviously, if you have loads of products on your website, then you need to make sure that the same thing is done for all of the products that you add to your website. Now, once you've done that, guys, come back to the Shopify editor and you should now see the updated version of your product. Now, you do want to make a few adjustments on here. So if you just click on it, it's going to bring up the single product or whatever section you've added. You can either change the background, the container, the text alliance. If you're not on the left, you can also change the text size and then underneath title size guys you do need to adjust where it says description because it's not the same one from your product page so if you go back to your product page what you can do is you can just copy the first paragraph and paste it into that section i wouldn't recommend that you get the whole paragraph because it won't fit the whole thing in and it will give them these three dots meaning that you can't read the whole thing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste the first little paragraph and leave it like that and then click save now if you scroll down underneath the description section you can make adjustments to the description size so if you want it bigger than this or smaller, you can change it. You can change the gallery. You can change the thumbnail. You can show thumbnail images on mobile. You can change to show the buy now button. So if I untick the buy now button, you can see the buy now button's disappeared. I'd always have it turned on. You can choose the quantity field if you want. I'd always have this one turned on. And then if you scroll down, you can change the button text. So if you want it to say learn more, you can. I change the button text to say discover then the product name. Now, if you don't want any buttons at all, then you just need to delete the text and it won't show any buttons. But if you do, then you can paste it here and then it will show the button. Now it's completely down to you what you guys do. Personally, I wouldn't have this one on, but again, it's down to you. So if you scroll down, it's going to show you the trust badges now at the bottom of the website. Now there's two at the moment under icon blocks. You can see free shipping and money back guarantee. These two you should always have on. Now, if you want more then if you just select where it says free shipping, Go to the top right. You're going to see three dots. You can duplicate, hide, or remove. If you hit duplicate, then you're going to add another one. Now, if you want four, I wouldn't recommend that you have three. You're either going to have two or four. It's up to you how many you have. But for now, I'm just going to have two, but you can have four if you really want to. Now, if you want to change what is being shown or said in these trust badges, all you need to do is click on each one and then go to where it says icon and you're going to see all of this script here. Don't let this confuse you. If you want to change it, you should see here a link to bootstrap icons open that in a new tab and it's going to give you the code that you need to change it so let's say that we want to change this icon to this arrow you're just going to click on it copy the html 
And then what you're going to want to do is come back here, paste it here, and it will change the icon for you. And then if you scroll down, you can change the text as well. This is the best way of doing it. That way it'll keep your website loading really fast and it won't slow it down. But for now, guys, I'm just going to have free shipping and money back guarantee. Like I said, if you want to add more to yours, then feel free to do so. So the last thing that we need to do on the homepage, guys, is the newsletter. So if you highlight the newsletter, you can make adjustments to it. So you can change it from, say, newsletter subscribe, promotions, new product sales directly to your inbox box. You can change this if you want. I think this is perfectly fine for now, so I wouldn't change it. It's up to you if you want to make it better. But then if we go to the footer section, this is where we do need to make some adjustments. So if you go to footer, you can see here, you need to add your company phone number. You can add the link here, your company email address and more email addresses here. That way it's really easy for them to contact you. And then where it says description, this is where you want to add the about section of your brand. So you just want to write what your brand does and the mission in three lines. You don't want to make it longer than three lines and then you want to put it here. And if you really want to guys, you can upload your logo and it will be displayed somewhere here. You can also turn on showered by Shopify if you want. On the theme default, we've had it turned off so you don't need to do it or worry about it. Show social media icons, show payment icons, and you can change the color if you want to. Now, underneath the footer section on the left-hand side, it's going to say shop, company, and legal. This is where you're going to make adjustments. So where it says shop, you can select either a product or a collection. Company, this is where you're going to select the company menus like the shipping policy, the privacy policy. So you need to create a menu and then select it here. And then where it says legal, this is where you might want to put privacy policy, refund policy. And then, sorry, in the company section, you might want to put about us, contact us, and etc. But again, for this to work, guys, you need to create a menu in Shopify. And it's very easy to do that. So if you come to Shopify, go to where it says online store, go to where it says pages, and then you can create a page here. So for example, you can create shipping policy or privacy policy. And then once you've created the pages, you want to go to navigation. And then on navigation, you can add a menu. So for example, this one's going to be the legal. So if we go back to the edit, you've got legal and company. So you're going to call this one company and then add all the menus that should be under company, like contact us, about us, and then add them here. And then when you come back to the editor, you can link it here. Now I'm not going to be going over creating menus in this video or creating policy pages because I've done it about a hundred times in other videos. So I'll leave them linked with a timestamp in the description so you can check it out. Now, once you've done all of that, guys, we can now move on to the product page. So all you need to do is scroll back up and click product and then select the product that you want to edit. Now, when you edit the product page, it'll be the same for every single one in terms of the layout. Now, what you also want to do is change it to mobile version and make sure that you're happy with the way this looks like on the mobile. I don't like how big this button is on the mobile, so I'm going to change the size of it. So if I scroll down, I'm going to change change the size of this to normal because I don't have the size of it on mobile and click save. And now that looks a lot better. And if I scroll down, we can get a look of how this is starting to look like on the mobile version. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. And it's really quick and easy to do it through this theme, guys. Now, if you want to make even more adjustments to the homepage, you feel like you need to add more to it. Let's say, for example, you want to add some more of these. You can just simply click on it click duplicate and you can add more. Or if you want to add a different section, click add section and add whatever section that you want on here. You've got loads of different options in here. If you're not happy with the ones that we've got, you can simply add them here, guys. But for now, guys, I'm very happy with the way this is looking. So I'm going to now edit my product page by selecting the product. So as you guys can see, this is what the product page looks like right now. And you can see it looks absolutely amazing. And we just need to fill in the blanks. The whole purpose of this theme is just to make your life easy, just to fill in the blanks and the rest is all done for you. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to edit these little drop down menus where it says shipping and return. So if you click on it and you go in this section here, where it says product template. You want to come down to where it says shipping and returns. And here you can adjust what's written in here. So when you select this, this is what you're basically changing. Anything that you change in here will show in here. So whatever your shipping policy is, add it here, guys. Don't add a crazy long one. Just add a short and sweet one in here. Now, again, I'm not going to do this with you on this video. I've pretty much filled it out for what I need, but whatever your shipping policy is, change it here. If you don't know what your shipping policy is, guys, then watch one of my old videos about creating stores because I give you all the policy pages in there with a little bit of a template that you can use if you don't already know. Now, again, if you want to change the icon, all you need to do is come to the Bootstrap Icons website and change the HTML. And if you want to change the title, you can change it here, guys. Then you've got here where it says details. Now, where it says details, guys, this is where you want to add the full description of your product. So if you've got like, let's say, for example, a 
13 liner or a 20 liner description you can add it here guys you don't want to add it all at once because you want to give them the option to read the description in terms of the full description so where it says details you can change the description to say full details so like i'm going to go here to where it says details and change it here to say full details that way the customer knows if they want the full details they click this and they're going to get the full details so if you've got a long description guys so add it here guys do not be adding the long description in the product section because that is not the point now if you want to be adding more drop down menus it's very easy guys just select one of the other drop down menus like shipping and returns click the three dots and hit duplicate and then you can add more drop down menus now if you want to add four drop down menus go ahead and do that. So another drop down menu that I might want to make is specifications. So I've just duplicated that one. I'm going to edit this now to say specifications. So as you guys can see, I've changed it to say specifications. I just now need to change the icon. So what I've done is I've gone to the bootstrap website and I filter it by info because I want to tell them about the information. I really like this one here. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to copy this HTML. I'm going to go back to my theme and I'm just going to change this HTML by replacing it. And you should now change it to the icon symbol, as you can see. And now I'm happy. Now, under specifications, I might literally put what the product is made out of, the size and things like that. Now, because this product might need washing, then I might want to put a drop down menu that says care label or washing instructions. You really need to put drop down menus that really correlate with what your product is. If your product is like a product that you need to wear, you could put size information. But you want to really put as much as you can here that will clear what the customer's thinking in terms of the relevant questions. So the next thing that you want to do is move on to the trust badges, guys. So where it says no compromises in quality, 100% satisfaction. These are the basic ones that we've given you. If you want to add more, what you need to do is go to where it says trust badges, and then you're going to see them here, guys. So you can add up to four trust icons here, guys. And if you don't like the ones that we've given you, you just need to scroll up, edit the code and edit the text, and you can make them the way you want them. Then once you've done that, guys, you want to move down to where it says rich text. And this one's already done for you. You don't really need to adjust this unless yours is different. It says try completely risk-free, hassle-free returns and refunds. We mean if you're unhappy within 30 days, we'll sort out a return label and you can refund it, no hassle. Now, if your refund policy isn't the same, then you can can adjust this but i'd always recommend that you have something like this underneath the product section then the next section that you want to do is image with text and this is where you're going over more about what the product is and what it does now because my product could be great as a gift product i'm really going to emphasize how this is a great gift product that you could buy somebody and give them as a gift so as you guys can see i've uploaded an image of the different options of the product and it's got a lot of emotion on it that way it fits the text that i've written now again depending on how much text that you're writing and the size of your image you might want to change the size so i've got this on one and a half i'm going to change it to three quarters and you guys can see i feel like this suits the website better so i'm going to leave it in this aspect ratio now if we scroll down you've got what customers are saying so this is like a testimonial section to build up trust now you can adjust this so instead of saying 1000 customers you can put 10000 be very realistic now what you could do is you could look at the aliexpress reviews and see that you've got 4.8 star reviews 4.7 star reviews and look at how many people have left reviews and then you could take technically add it here. So if you've calculated there's 700 people, change it to 700. That way you're actually telling the truth. There are 700 happy customers, but they're from a different store. And if you scroll up, you can see the title says what customers like you are saying. You can change this if you want, guys. It's completely down to you. Then what you need to do is where it says cards with image on the left, you've got each little review. Now we've got two here on the website. If you want to add four, you can add four by simply clicking on it. Go to the three dots and hit duplicate. If you want to add 10, you can. I'd recommend that you stick between two and six. I wouldn't go any more than that. And then all you need to do is click on it and then you can change change the review, the title and the description. Now you're probably thinking, what am I going to write in the review section? You've got two options. You can either go to AliExpress and go to the reviews on AliExpress and literally just copy and paste what the customer review is, or you can go to Amazon and copy and paste the customer review. So that's what I've done on this store. I've literally just gone onto Amazon and copied and pasted what the customer said on Amazon. That way it's a legit review, but it's not come from my website. So you can see here, that's what I've done. Then if you scroll down, you've got the unboxing experience. Now this is what I've titled the video. Now you don't have to have it as that, but what video I'm going to upload here, guys, is a video of somebody unboxing the plushie. Because for my product, people are going to want to know what it's like to unbox it and the first impressions. So that's why I've named it the unboxing experience. 
If yours is a how-to product, yours could be how to use the product, then the name of the product. But make sure you use a video from either YouTube of the product that actually explains what you're saying. So if mine's an unboxing experience, I'm going to get a video off YouTube or TikTok that shows the unboxing experience of literally the same product. Now to add the video here, guys, you just need to create a YouTube account or a Vimeo account and then just paste the unlisted video link here and then it will show the video here and you can change the background color and etc. Now what you also want to do is add a custom thumbnail here and what I do to get a thumbnail is I go to Canva. Now when I came to Canva, I literally typed in on the search bar unboxing because that's going to match what I want and you can see here a thumbnail that's perfect for me has just shown up here that I'm going to use as the thumbnail. So the adjustments that I'm going to make on this guys is the color and the image so they're unboxing a lorry so i'm going to delete this and i'm going to upload my images so if i go to uploads i'm going to upload my image now i'm going to actually get rid of the background so i'm going to go to edit photo background remover this is why i love the pro version of canva and i'm just going to put this on the back like this make it smaller and then there we go that way it's unboxing my product and it's got the packages there and then i'm going to change the color here so if i select it go to effects you can see I'm going to change this color to my actual brand colors and then download this. So guys, as you can see, I've just uploaded my thumbnail here. And if you feel like it hasn't fitted properly, go to where it says the image size and change the image size to whatever the download size is. So let's say the download size you did on Canva was 1200 by 80. Then do that, change it to here. That way it'll fit perfect. Then once you've done that, guys, you can hit save. So as you guys can see, I've just adjusted mine to 1920 by 1080 as that was the image size that I downloaded. And you can see now it fits perfect. Now, if we scroll down, the next section you need to do is frequently asked questions. And this is where you're going to basically go over the most frequently asked questions about your product. That way it's going to get rid of any worries from the customer before they buy. That way you're going to increase the conversion. Now, if you don't know what frequently asked questions to do, we've given you some suggestions here. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you just do these ones. I'd recommend that you make them specific about the product too. And the best way to do this is to go to Amazon and go to the ones with the most orders on Amazon, so like Amazon Choice or the ones that are being sponsored and go down and you're going to find the Amazon sellers frequently asked questions and you can just use those. If you scroll all the way down, you're going to see the frequently asked questions. So you can see here, it says looking for a specific info, search in the reviews or Q&A and you can see here, you can search for them or they'll either be listed here. Now, if you can't find them, so what you can do is you can go through all the sellers till you find the ones where it's showing you some Q&As. So make sure you guys look on the internet for the most frequently asked questions about your product by going on Amazon or AliExpress, or you can use Peekster's AI content section. They've actually got a frequently asked question option where you can actually generate your frequently asked questions if you can't find them on the internet. And that's a good option as well. Now, once you've done this, guys, it's very easy to edit. You click it, you choose the actual question and Q&A, and then you adjust it here. What is the frequently asked question? And then the answer is going to be here. And if you want to add more, you simply just click the little three dots and hit duplicate. And then that way you're going to add more to the drop down menu. And then if you scroll underneath this, you've got an image with text again. And then now you want to go over even more information of the product. So for example, I've put unique pearl milk cup shaped pillow design. Nobody can refuse the cute Boba plush toy. The Boba T plush toy is constructed with high quality PP fabrics with good touch and good elasticity. So I've gone over another feature again of the quality of the product. And as you guys can see, I've uploaded a nice high end image of the product. And again, make sure you're uploading images that are high quality and they're congruent with the other images that you've uploaded. That way the store images look congruent and then the customer is going to believe that this is all come from the same place and it's going to build a lot more trust. Then once you've done that, guys, you're going to see the customer customer also bought section. Now, if you want to add upsells or cross sales or convert this one product store into a niche one product store, what you want to do is you want to basically find other products that are very similar to this one or in the same niche, add it to your store and then create a collection. And then you're going to select the collection here. And then it's going to show the products that are similar to this one here. Then that way they can choose other products. Now, it's really important for you guys to understand that this is just the basic template. You don't have to just use this template. If you want to add more information or you feel like you want to add some more sections, you can do that by going to where it says add section. And again, you can choose any of these sections here and add them in. Now, let's say, for example, I want to add another section. I might want to click add section, latest articles, and then you're going to see it show here. And then what I can do is I can drag this wherever I want it. Let's say I want it above frequently asked questions. I can add it here. Or let's say I want it at the bottom. I can add it here. It's down to you. Now, once you've done that, guys, we need to download an app that's very 
very important, which is Luke's Reviews. So guys, the next app that we need is Luke's Reviews, especially now we're talking about the product page optimization. This way, it's going to build more trust with our customers because we're going to be able to import reviews from AliExpress into Luke's, and then it's going to show them on our website. Now, if you use my exclusive link on Luke's Reviews, you're going to get a 30-day free trial instead of a 14-day free trial. So once you've used that link, you want to download the app. Then it's going to give you two options for the plan that you want to choose. Me personally, I'm going to stick with the beginner plan, so I'm going to click start seven-day free trial. Then once you've done that, it's going to say, what's your store's primary language? I'm going to choose English and then hit continue. And then it's going to say, make it pop. So you can choose your brand colors. So you want to make sure you choose your brand color. And then I choose the star color as like a goldy color. And that's the code that I use. Once you've done that, click continue. Then you can set up an automation where Luke's will actually create automations where it'll ask your customers for reviews after they've received the product. So you can adjust this because we're drop shipping. We might want to change this to 21 days and then after fulfillment and then click continue. Then you can choose an offer to give them to incentivize giving you some custom reviews because remember the reviews that we're getting right now are drop shipping reviews from AliExpress. But by doing it this way, if we get customers, then this is going to increase the chances of getting our own unique reviews, which is very important. So I would offer them a 20% discount and click continue. Then once you've done that, it's going to say you're all set. And then you want to go to where it says want to import reviews, click import reviews. And then all you need to do is follow the instructions here to import reviews. You need to grab this icon and put it into your bookmarks. Then once you've done that, guys, go over to the AliExpress seller with the most orders. You can see this one here has got over a thousand orders. So I'm going to open up their tab and then I'm going to go over to the bookmarks where it says import from Luke's reviews and I'm going to click it. Then once I click that, guys, it's now going to give me the option to choose which store I want to upload this to. And you can see I'm going to select the product of my choice, which is this one here. And then it's going to say reviews to scan 20 reviews, ratings, four stars and up, reviews from all countries. It's up to you. You can either choose United States, United Kingdom. I'm going to do all countries. Translate to English. Fetch only reviews with photos. This is the only option we want for now because we only want reviews with photos and then click preview and import. Then once you've done this, guys, it's going to show you the reviews that it's going to give you. So make sure you read them and you import them if you like what they're saying, but make sure you read it and then import it. Don't just import it in case they're saying something negative. So all of these are fine for now. So I'm going to import the ones that look good. So once you've imported those reviews, go back to the Shopify editor, scroll all the way down on the product page and you should now see your loop reviews in terms of the ones that are imported. Now, the reason why we need these is because these are image reviews and these look a lot more trustworthy and more legitimate than the ones up here. These ones are good, but you also need these. Now, something else that's really important is you can move these if you want. So you can see where it says apps, you can drag this higher if you want it higher. So let's say we want this above the external video. We can have it above the external video. So don't feel like you have to have it at the bottom. You can choose based on dragging this where you want the review reviews. Now, me personally, I have them under the FAQ. So I have them here and then I have more information about the product. So this is the sweet spot for me. It's up to you where you want them. But if we go back to the Luke's Reviews app, we can change the way they look. So if you go to where it says product reviews wedge it, you can change this. You can have it grid or list. Now I'm going to have mine on list and compact. I think it looks the best. So if we go back to the Shopify editor, you can see now it's changed the format and this looks a lot more nicer. Now it's up to you guys based on personal preference, how you want them to look. And then remember, always check how the mobile version looks as well. So always check your mobile version and then to check your desktop version. But always remember that the mobile version is always more important than the desktop version, as that's where the most of your traffic is going to come from. Now, if we go back to Luke's, you can see all of the settings here that you can change. You can change the size, you can change the color, you can change the sorting option. So make sure you go through all of these to make sure it looks the best on your website. And then under general, you can change the branding, you can change loads of other things. Now, if you want to activate the widget notification on your store where it's going to show loads of reviews coming up to increase the trust, you can click here where it says get the widget now and then it will show it in the bottom left corner. This is completely down to you if you want it. But I'd highly recommend that you check all of the settings in Luke's and you look at the checklist and make sure you've done these all correctly because this app can generate you a lot of money if it's set up correctly and you spend some time setting it up. But make sure you use my Luke's Reviews link in the description to get yourself a 30-day free trial 
instead of only a 14 day free trial. Now, once you've done all of that, guys, that should be your Shopify store design done. So this is pretty much the store design. Obviously, you're gonna add something here, guys, where it says customers also bought. And if you wanna add more sections, you can. But realistically, your store setup should be pretty much done now, guys. So make sure you check the product page, the home page. Now, the last few things that you guys want to do is go to where it says theme settings, change the cart sections here where it says cart. You can change a few things here if you guys really want to. It's down to you. There are some really good options here that you can use to increase conversion rates. And you also wanna change the checkout option by uploading your logo and changing the accent colors to your custom color for your website. Once you've done those guys, you should be pretty much all done. And again, I can't emphasize this enough guys, just make sure you double check the mobile version and the desktop version for all the pages that you have edited. Also make sure you keep saving the theme whilst you're editing it because you don't wanna lose it if it crashes. So guys, that was the full tutorial on how to set up my brand new exclusive free Shopify theme for 2023. Massive shout out to Ecom graduates for help collaborating with me to bring Bring you guys this exclusive theme. I hope it makes your life really easy and faster when it comes to building stores and testing products. I hope it increases your conversion rates as well. If you really appreciate everything we've done for you guys because it is completely free, smash that like button. Let's try and get this video to 10,000 likes in around about 30 days to show the appreciation for all the time and money we've invested to get this to you guys. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And remember for all the tools and resources, always use use the description. Don't use the replied comments because there are scammers. Only use the pinned comment by the verified Ecom King account and the description as those are the safest places to use the links. With all that being said, guys, I hope this has been really helpful and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.